Where do I want to start? Where's the good stuff? <laughs> Over here. Haha, ha, totally kidding. This is not a Goodwill Bins video, but if you guys want to see me dig through the bins, oh my goodness, I have a whole bunch of those videos. Definitely go check them out. Let's get started with this vlog. All right, Bolo Buddies, um, everybody seemed to like my vlog. How fun is that? Um, so I'm going to do some more mystery boxes here. I'm also going to show you some things I'm bringing to whatnot. And also, we're going to do some what sold. So I'm going to mix it up and show you some mystery box, go into something I sold, and just try to keep this flowing. Um, I am gonna go live on Whatnot Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna show you a preview of some of the items I'm bringing. I'm doing Christmas mystery boxes, so some of those items may be included. We're gonna see what we find here, and let's get started. All right, so we have a $10 Christmas mystery box. Ooh, that just flew off. All right, let's see if we can find anything that I can bring to whatnot because that is my goal right now is to have one more Christmas show on whatnot. What's in here? I like smalls, you know, keep the shipping down. Oh, that's cute. Wendell August. Hey, isn't that the same brand of those? Um, it is. I think it is of those. Uh, oh, I did a whole video on it. Um, those light switch covers. Remember that video, you guys? Oh, Looney Tunes, mini holiday ornaments. Those will be great as long as they're in good condition. I'll check them before I bring them, of course. Not gonna mess with those. Those are just gonna be donated. Uh, that's just made in China, but I might be able to put like a little ornament thing together. We'll see. Uh, I don't know what that is, but this is cute. It's not marked. I think it's made in China, but it kind of looks like it could be a decent brand. What's this? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Huh. Huh. I have no idea what that is. It's not Christmas. I know that. I've got some stockings. I'm not going to mess with those. I don't know. I always seem to donate stuff that people want. I don't know what that is either. So we're just gonna make some piles. Oh my goodness, look how cute this is. Oh, it says Hummel. Huh. Let's see. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. I'm just hanging out here with my money pile. Thought I would do another vlog for you guys since you liked the last one. But before I start, I just wanna say Thank you. Thank you to all of my people that watch me and subscribe and share and comment and like my videos. Thank you so much. Thank you for those of you that take the extra time to share it out. Oh my goodness. And mention me in your videos. That helps my channel grow and I appreciate it so much. Um, I just hit a huge milestone of 25,000 subscribers. I cannot even believe it. And it's because of you guys, and I appreciate you. Also want to thank those of you who, like, give me super chats and who buy me coffees. And for those of you that use my links to join things, those are all linked down below, um, like List Perfectly and um, Worth Point and what are the other ones, Photo Room, whatnot. All of those are referral links, and even my eBay partner network is down there. And usually you guys get something too, which I love, because it's hard for me to shout out something if you guys don't get something too. But I do receive a small commission on most of those items if you join with my link. So if you have joined with that link, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And all of those links that are down there are things that I use for my business, things that I have tried, things that I trust. Thank you to all of my members of my channel. You guys mean so much to me, and I appreciate that you believe in me to help you grow your channels and your eBay stores. So thank you. And thank you to everybody that goes and subscribes to those channels and 
follows those eBay stores, that is awesome. And I know you guys are doing it because they tell me you're doing it. And that is awesome. What else? Uh, those of you that have bought me a coffee lately, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Um, those are always a shocker. And people that buy from my eBay store, you guys never ever feel like you have to do any of that. But please know from the bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate it, but do not expect it. Okay, let's get into this vlog and I'm going to show you some mystery boxes and I'm going to ship. We're going to do what we did last time. So let's get started. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. About this. Um, I've had a few of you that have said, why don't you open up one of those totes and show us what's inside? So at the end of the video, I may just open up one of these totes and show you what's inside. So stay tuned for that. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. ARS 1988. Wow, that's cool. That's really cool. That goes over your door to hold a reef. Okay. 1985. Celebrate a holiday. What is this? No idea what that is. Some sort of like garland, maybe? All right. Looky here. Somebody looks like somebody made this. Um, is that a Boyd's bear that they stuffed in there? I might try to pull him out. I don't know if I want to mess with the stocking. What's this? Never dries out. Huh. Sparkling glass ornament. First Christmas together. Hallmark. I like that. Huh. <laughs> I just keep saying, huh. All right, you guys. So every time I do mystery boxes, the stuff I want to donate, people are like, I would have bought that. So I'm going to leave the stuff that's in this video in my car or my garage, probably my car. Um until after this video post. So if you see something that I said I'm donating that you want, message me on Instagram, bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers, and I can put it on a platform for you, one of my selling platforms, either eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. Um, most of the stuff I'm bringing to Whatnot Thursday night. So I'm gonna post this on Wednesday. So if you let me know ASAP, I may be able to bring it to Whatnot, okay? What is this? I don't know. These are tea lights. Oh, they're little candles. Those are cute. Kind of love that. Ooh, she's cool. I kind of like her too. Wow. Cool box. Uh, I think these are just hangers. Wonder if anybody would want those. All right, we're going to venture over here to plush tote. And we are looking for some Webkins frogs. Let's see if we can find them here. Now this tote is one of the massive totes. It's massive, I'm telling you. Here they are. So what I did on these is I went ahead and put three of them together. And... Um, I feel like they gave me an advantage. And these actually sold on uh, Poshmark, I believe, for $35. I'll pop up the screenshot. All right, I'm going to hide the seller's information here. Not the seller, the buyer. And you can see here, yes, they sold for $35. Poshmark is going to take 20% of that, and I am going to be left over with $28. They do pull out the sales tax for us. They collect it and submit it. So that's fantastic. So my Earnings on these frogs is $28. And if I remember correctly, I got those at the Goodwill bins. Other thing great about Poshmark is everything goes in these uh, boxes. This one right here is a, I think it's an eight by eight by seven. 
and I bought, bought it. I got it right off of USPS.com. They will send you these free. This is a great size. It's good for mugs, but really you can put anything in it. I am going to throw on this thank you uh, for your purchase sticker for supporting my small business. I'm just going to leave it in the bag. I'm not super fancy, you guys. Um, I try to limit waste. I uh, have never had any complaints about my packaging as far as not using tissue all the time and different things like that. For Poshmark, I am more likely to use tissue paper than eBay. But again, nobody has really said anything. You do what works best for you. I am going to leave it in the plastic bag because this is cardboard and it is winter. So if there's snow or rain, if this gets wet, it's going to protect the plush. All right. So because that item sold on Poshmark, I had to remove it from eBay. I just want to show you guys here that I had this same item listed on eBay for $26 plus shipping and I sold it for $35 on Poshmark. So um, definitely different platforms, you can price things differently. Um, so I got a little more by putting it on Poshmark, but Poshmark does take a little more in fees. You just never know, right? St. Nicholas Square, we got a Cardinal. Oh, you plug in, it's a plug-in nightlight. All right, let it snow. I'll probably just get rid of that. This is either. Okay. Ooh. Merry Christmas. Is this Longenberger, you think? No, but it's kind of cute. It's a little basket. I kind of like that. I don't, it's not Longenberger, but it's it's cute enough. I think somebody might want it. Mm, sweet angels watch over you. It's a tree topper. Okay, we're going to keep moving through here. Order something in this one. All right, Bolo Buddies, let's pull some orders. We're going over to tote 22. And I sold these right here. These are uh, vintage uh, greeting cards. I put these up for auction and they are uh, Mary Hamilton, I do believe. I think it says it on the back of the card right here, Mary. And I sold these for uh, $51 on auction. And there's 25 cards in there. So very, very cool item. And the buyer paid the shipping. Okay, I've showed you guys this before, but I have this going first class, okay? And it was $6.68, $6.68 without um, shipping protection insurance. If I want to add insurance on eBay, it's going to cost me um, either $1.70 for ship cover insurance or $3.35 extra for um, USPS. So if I'm doing the ship cover, it's going to be $8.38. If I'm doing USPS... That's going to change my price to 1003. Let me go over to a uh, pirate ship here. I've already got it pulled up and first class for pirate ship is going to be $7 and 48 cents. And it's only 80 cents to insure the package over here on pirate ship. So anytime I have a first class package that is over sometimes even $40 ones, if it's first class, I will go over here to pirate ship and I will create my label on pirate ship because it is cheaper to insure it and i just had somebody leave in the comments that they had a claim on pirate ship and everything went completely smooth so definitely save money buying your insurance on first class packages over on pirate ship Ooh, ooh, made in china but they're kind of cute they're kind of cute and there's a cute little tin whoops they were cute. Now they're broken. No, I'm kidding. I think those are cute. I'm bringing those. I'm bringing those. So far, I got a nice little pile. This is all going to come to whatnot. I might uh, pull him out. I don't want to do the whole thing, I don't think. And oh my goodness, I almost forgot to thank everyone who has come to my whatnot shows. Even if you just came to hang out and watch, thank you. And for all of you that purchased, 
thank you, thank you. Um, if you're not following me on whatnot, I am Bolo Buddies over there. I'm gonna give you a quick preview of um, what I put on whatnot. And my show is Thursday night, 9 p.m. Just a reminder, Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time. And the mystery boxes that I unbox in this video, those items are coming to whatnot. Okay, Bolo Buddies, here are some of the items that are coming to my Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Whatnot Show. Be sure to bookmark it, and I hope to see you there. I am also uh, have a video that I just released on my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel that is a bunch of other items that came out of Christmas mystery boxes that I will also be bringing, and I'm going to be on the hunt before my show, so there'll probably be lots of other stuff also. So see you then. Ah, whoa, I'm tripping. Like falling over tripping. <laughs> <laughs> There's another cardinal. It's wood. It's cute. We got some chenille pipe cleaners from Greenbrier, which is the dollar store. So, um, I'm not going to mess with this. I know that people say that I should bring it, but I'm just not. I don't want to mess with shipping it. And let's just make sure there's nothing else underneath. Okay, this box is done. So I'm going to put some of this stuff back in. Do you think I should bring the hangers? Hmm. All right. The next item that sold is in this tote of jewelry. <laughs> Yeah, let's find it. This is what I do. I dump it out. And I look for it. Just like this. It's a painful process. Um, I'm looking for an Anna Lee brooch. And I actually had two of them. They came out of a thrift store mystery box quite a while ago. Um, the first one sold really quickly. And this one took a little bit longer to sell. It does say 2000, uh, so, and it's just an Anna Lee, uh, brooch. All right, I got it out of the bag for you. So it's got the original tag on it. So $20, um, plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $27 and 31 cents, um, with tax and shipping. All right, guys. So definitely be on the lookout for things like this when you are at garage sales. Uh, most of these I have picked up at garage sales and stuff like that. These are great to ship, especially jewelry. Um, but like this right here, let me see. Will this fit in there? So we can fit that right in there and then I will put that into a poly mailer. So this is the Anna Lee brooch. I will weigh it first and then I will put my label on and then put it inside. Otherwise it's kind of awkward putting the label on. And these are the new um, eBay poly mailers. How cute is that? All right, so the bear is like glued in there. So I am just gonna donate that. Maybe that's a mistake. Let's see what's in this box. Whoa. Flipping those tags off. Okay. Oh, my hands are freezing. My hands are so cold. That's cool. But it's big. It's a candle holder. Oh my goodness, I don't know. These are cool too. Does that say 1970? How cool is that? Oh, here's another one. Interesting. What is that? That's kind of cool. I don't know. It's um, kind of like a soft material. Uh, I think that's probably one of those that you stick um, one of your light bulbs in, but it feels cheap, so I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna mess with those. I'm not gonna mess with those. What's this? I don't think that's vintage. I'm just gonna, maybe it's a mistake, maybe I should. Oh, so here's a snowman and it's got this base with it. So it's kind of like this Christmas tree here. How cute is that? It's pretty cute, right? I wonder if this is the base for the Christmas tree. I think it is. Oh, that's so cute. Oops, sorry guys, I think I just lost focus. 
So those two things will be coming to whatnot. Here's another angel. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? K-E-B, I wonder if that's who like, made those. All right, do you guys remember the Ben's Bingo Challenge? Look what I sold! Hashtag Ben's Bingo if you want to see what else I got. And you can also see all of the other YouTubers that participated in this collaboration. Um, but yeah, I picked these up at the Ben's. I did take a best offer of $10. I really just wanted to move them quickly. And I did. And the buyer was all in for $21 and some cents. And that is ready to go. All right, let's get these items shipped out. These will go into a shoe box. Um, basically, here's my whatnot uh, bags. So what I'm doing is I'm just crossing out the old ones. And then I'm going to reuse them to try to save on waste. This is a shoe box from the post office. These are free at USPS.com. Uh, there's tons and tons. These of different sizes. These are all my um, packaging. So everything is here and ready to go. But um, yeah, I just keep my boxes by size so they're ready to pull out. But all the ones that look like this I got on USPS.com for free. So utilize these, you guys. It's free packaging materials. I mean, you pay for it with your shipping costs. But you know what I'm saying. Home interiors. And then this goes like the top of a lampshade. It's kind of the same. I don't know. Uh-oh, I gotta go get my uh, papers. Hold on. Another angel here. These are cool. Those are definitely cool. Oh, it's this House of Lloyd. It's a magnet. That's kind of cool. Um... I don't have any light bulbs to test these and they're just made in China. So I'm gonna donate those. Huh. Lots of cool stuff. I bet you paint that, huh? I'm gonna donate that. Pop open this box and I'm just gonna fill it with the donations. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Party light. That's kind of cute. Boyd's Bear. Some people collect those. Oh, this is cute. It says Merry Christmas 2002. I like it. I like it. Smalls. That's what I need. Betsy Clark. Oh, <gasps> Betsy Clark. Betsy Clark is great. All right, we are going over to tote 33. I got stuff laying everywhere. Uh, don't mind my mess. Okay, tote 33, which means I got to get tote 41 off of it, which we're going to do the oh, slide. Oh. See how I did that? See how I did that? I am out of breath. Okay, so we are looking for some paint brushes. Oh my goodness, this should be fun. Um, I do use the big totes. You know, I've got uh, some smelly things in here and they smell so good, but I'm wondering if they're gonna make everything smell so good. I'm gonna pull this out of here. These are the smelly things. And I also have, I think some, uh, this right here. This is a, a retired scent, I think. Okay, so I sold these paintbrushes. I don't remember where I got these, but um, I sold these for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. I think they're all in for like 15 bucks and they are just Windsor and Newton special paintbrushes. So yeah, nice little bread and butter bolo right there. Oh my goodness, how on earth am I gonna ship these? I am gonna put them a piece of cardboard I'm going to put a piece of cardboard, I'm going to tape around it, and then I'm going to bubble wrap it, and then I'm going to throw it in a poly mailer. Bubble wrapped up, and then I'm going to stick it in this poly mailer, and then I'm going to fold the poly mailer. There you go. There's my poly mailer. It's ready to go. I'm going to slap a label on that, and it's ready to go. Um, what is this? I don't know. I'll have to look at it, but it's lightweight. What are these? Ooh. I'm gonna bring these too. Maybe somebody can, I bet they go on um, 
those things I put in there. Sorry, I'm bebopping around. SKL soap dispenser. See ya. Ooh, here's a broom. Wonder what that goes to. What is this? Oh, cute. Huh. Like fans out. I don't know what it's for. I'm not gonna mess with that. If you guys see something that I donated that you wanted, let me know so I can kind of be smart next time. And Ooh, look at the little skunks. <gasps> All right, this next item is in Tote 41. I took apart a uh, Doc McStuffins play set. And some of the items have sold very, they sold very quickly. And other items have taken longer to sell. So you can see this is part of it. It should be right down here. This is the head that came off of it. I'm looking for the Band-Aid. Right there it is. So this is a replacement part to a Doc McStuffins playset, like a full-size playset for a toddler. And this piece right here sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, so this is the little Doc McStuffins things. I'm gonna bubble wrap it, even though it's plastic, and I'm gonna put it in just this little box. This is gonna ship first class, and it's ready to go, just like that. It's Doc McStuffins with tax and shipping all in for $22.32 for a replacement part. You guys, replacement parts do sell. I love them. I love them. I think they're chalkware. Maybe, maybe not. I'll do a little research. So cute. What's in here? Hmm. <laughs> oh, they clip on your tree. Those are cute. Oh, I'm going to have a great show. Check this out. It's all coming, guys. It's all coming. I'm going to donate that. I'll bring that. Mini lights. I don't know what that is. We'll have to open that up later. Bringing it to the show. What's this? That's cute. But I don't, I don't know, flashing or non-flashing. I don't know. I never know. I never know. These are kind of like those other orange ones. I can lock those up all together. Oh, a little bell. Made in Thailand. I can bring that. Okay. Oh my goodness, I almost missed it. Look how cute that is. 1986 McDonald's. Look how cute. I almost missed it. What's this? All right. That's kind of cute too. All right, this box. I'm not, this has some uh, damage, so I'm gonna just donate that. I'm just not gonna mess with that. All right, let's get another box. Okay, we're going over to Plush Tote 12. And I sold, right here it is, a blankie. A lovey, a lovey blankie. Um, I wanna keep this here so I don't mix anything up. This came from the Goodwill bins. And I can't remember what it sold for. For when I get, so when I get back over there, I will tell you guys, but I'm hoping that I labeled it under the right tote. If you watched my last vlog where I pulled orders, I totally had something in the wrong tote. Is it gonna happen to me again? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Here it is. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. Would you just look at the cuteness? I sold this for $22.75. The buyer is all in for $31.72. How am I gonna ship this? I am gonna ship this in a poly mailer because Every, there's no eyes. If the eyes were uh, plastic, I would cover them with extra bubble wrap, but I am just going to wrap this in a piece of tissue paper and I'm going to put it in a poly mailer. When I use tissue paper, a lot of times I will put my little thank you for your purchase. I'm going to slide it right into just one of these because there's nothing that can be damaged and it's going to be all set to go. Super lightweight, super easy to ship. People are always buying these. These are definitely a bolo item. The little security blankets, they're called lovies. Make sure you put that in your title. I just put on gloves. <laughs> My hands are freezing. Okay, let's see what I got. 
anything we want in this box. Oh, look at this cute little box. Oh, that's so cute. Look at it. Gift Co. You think someone wants that? I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. It's not in great condition. Oops. $15 originally? Huh. Maybe somebody flipped them. That's broke. This is yesterday's child. She's cute. Some more uh, Christmas tree wooden holiday clips. Look how cute that is. I don't know what it is though. It's cute though. Oh, that's broke. Bummer. How cool is that? Shucks. Oh, it's got an anchor. I wonder if those are anchor hawking. have to look at that yep it's got an anchor on it too I'll try to get that out oh I got it it's got the anchor so I think that's anchor hawking maybe this is uh just says Canada put this little tea light candle down inside there celebrate with let's see Christmas plate I don't know. I'm just gonna not gonna mess with that. Again, I'm probably donating things you guys want. This is really cute. Oh, I love it. I don't. I don't know. It's really cute. Looks hand painted, but I still love it. Ooh. Oh my goodness! All right, tote fourteen. Oh. oh, we're gonna do that. Hope I can get in here. Okay, I'm looking for a reindeer. It's kind of dark. Um, reindeer. And I got this at an estate sale for 50 cents. And I sold it for, oh, oh, that needs to stay right in there with all that other ribbon. All right, I'll be right back. I got to fix this tote. All right, let's find it. That's a Hawaiian shirt, or no. Yeah, Hawaiian shirt. Oh, here it is. Okay, so estate sale, 50 cents. I sold this for $15 plus shipping right there. This little brass, I think, deer. Look how cute. Okay. Okay, we're definitely bringing this right here. Uh, these are just probably something that's handmade. Ooh, what's this one down here? That one's, ooh, that's something. I need to take the tag off of there. That's cool. Let's see, cute little basket, but kind of big. Nice little bowl. Ooh, I love vintage stuff. You guys, this is totally stuff I would put on eBay, but I'm bringing it to whatnot. It looks like it's missing um, something right here, but still very cool. What are these? on earth what's it say it says floral stems floral stems do you think anybody would want those they're kind of i'm just gonna donate them because they're so long um more of those probably making a mistake donating them huh you guys are all gonna be screaming at me look how cute this is she is let's see christmas around the world house of lloyd she is cute 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 we're gonna bring her she is a cutie pie i can put something in that to ship it i like to save those for shipping what's this uh 
There's no top to it. What's in here? Ooh, made in England. All right, so I have an offer on these uh, Melissa McCarthy 7 plus size jeans. They've got this cute little bottom on them. I've got an offer for 20 bucks. I have them listed for 35. I think I'm gonna count her at 30 and just see what happens. But I've got lots of Lane Bryant jeans and stuff like that in my store. I don't really talk about that much because I really don't do a whole lot of clothing, but I do have lots of clothing in my store. <laughs> oh, don't break it. Made in England, Regal. Oh, there's two of them. Those are coming to whatnot. I'm not looking this stuff up because if I do, I'll put it on eBay. Okay. Let it snow. Huh. All right. That's it for that box. Guys, so this is a piece of cardboard that was flat. And what I did is I folded it and I put those cards inside of it to protect the box from getting messed up. Okay, that'll keep it um, still kind of lightweight and protect the item if I don't have a box that it fits directly in. So after I made my box, I realized I have a box that that will fit perfectly in. So I'm gonna put it in this box because it's a better presentation. But if you ever have something that you don't have a box for, you can just fold it like that. Um, I use one of these right here and that will help you create your own box. Here we go. Let's see what we got. All right, looks like a bunch of light bulbs. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with the light bulbs. Should I mess with the light bulbs? Ah, uh, I'm not gonna mess with the light bulbs. <laughs> oh, decisions. Ah, wow. They're all new, but maybe I'll change my mind and bring the light bulbs, but I don't think so. What's this? That's kind of cool. Huh. Okay, so far, this is kind of neat. I'll bring that. Not messing with that. More of these. Probably. He's kind of cool. I'll bring the wood Santa. What do you think about this? I wonder if it's vintage. I don't know. It's like garland for the tree. I don't know if it's junk or if it's cool. I guess I could bring it and see what you guys think. See if anybody wants it. This is probably a basket liner. Is it? It's Longenberger. So I'll bring that. What is that? Candy dish or something? This is made in China, but it says something. International Corp, something. Transiers? I don't know. Huh. If it's special, sorry. Because I'm donating it. Oh, I know people say to bring that stuff. What are these? These are cool. Around the World with Santa coloring book. Those are cute. This is another party light. All right, so here's the shoes. I did slap some bubble wrap around them just so they don't get scuffed up during shipment. And then I'll slide those right down in the box, seal it up, and it is ready for shipment there. I like it, I like it. It's gonna be a pain to ship. What's this? Hmm. One of those. Oh, looks like a bunch of vintage bulbs. Oh, goodness. I think I'm just going to donate it. I don't want to mess with it. 
You guys are screaming at me at this point. What are these? Donate. Ooh, these are nice. I bet they say Noel. They're heavy and, oh, nope, maybe Hope? No, I don't know. I have to look this and see what letters they are. All right, that's it for this box. Okay, so I just had somebody message me and ask me if they could bundle three plush. And for some reason, I have a shipping discount code, but I'm guessing one of them weighs a little more, so it did not apply the di shipping discount. Typically, if the items are all three first class, it should adjust the shipping to $5. That's just a little discount that I do if people are buying multiple things. Um, when you add to your cart, it should just automatically work. All right, so I am looking for a stuffed animal. She bought three stuffed animals from me. She actually, um, like I said, sent me a message and asked if I could discount the shipping. I also have a coupon um, when you add items to your cart. Items are automatically discounted, so that also helps. So she did adjust her offers just a tad, probably to um, offset that discount. Okay, so I sold this fox, and I will take it out of the package and show it to you guys here shortly. All right, this. This bear, I sold this bear, and again, I'll show it to you. This one actually came from a mystery box that I got from Donatella Bottolino that was purchased for me from Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, and me and Noelle did an unboxing video of that, so I will try to pop up a screen share and show you guys what that video looks like if you want to go check that out. Shout out to Noelle, who has an amazing channel. Uh, that's Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle and Donatella Bottolino is who that came from. I've talked about her auctions before. They will both be linked in the description, so sub them up. All right, the next one is in Plush Tote 9. And this one is a horse puppet. And I'll have to look. I can't remember where this one came from. Let's see if we can find it real quick. It's lots of digging. There it is. All right, that might... Hmm, I can't remember. It's so funny that you can't remember where you get things. Okay, so she got these three plush. I'm going to go get them out of the bags, and I'm going to figure out what shipping is going to cost. All right, I just wanted to lay out the cuteness. Look at this. It's a little fox. And then we've got the little bear and then the horse puppet. All right, so this guy came from the Goodwill Bins. This was from the mystery uh, plush lot from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And this one came from a garage sale for one dollar so i would say my cost of goods for all of these was under four dollars okay, so what i decided to do was put them down in these bags i've got two in this one and one here and then my favorite box the shoe box they should fit quite nicely in there now i've talked to you guys about bubble wrapping the eyes if they're plastic i don't do that if they're in a box but i will do that if they're in like a a mailer like this that's padded i will cover the eyes just to protect them this is the last box. All right, let's see what we got. What's this? That's cute. Christmas around the world. We're bringing that. Oh, this is cute. It's a little shovel, but it's so big. I'm just donating it. That big stuff, I it's just too much. Merry Christmas. It looks like it has a little light in it. It's kind of cute. I want to see what's under that tag. Oh no, it's stuck to it. Okay, I need to see what this is. Friendship warms the heart. I'm just donating that. Uh, it's kind of a cute candle, right? I want to see what that says under that too. It's kind of cute, but it might just be cheap. We've got this Santa. Ooh, he's kind of nice. 
a tree topper, but he's got something on him, so I'm just gonna donate that. Here's a Harry and David tin. I'm just gonna donate that. Here's another bunny. I don't know what these are. Oh, the condition is not that great, so on that one. Joy with the little blocks. It's kind of cute. What do you think? I could always bring it and see what you guys think. Oh, look at this. All right, this next item came from a mystery toy box that I got from auction from auctions for you. And it's in tote E. Don don don. So I have to get to that tote down there, which means I have to move tote H. Oh my goodness, this is one of the worst ones. So there is a lot of shifting because I have so many totes. Um, so we're gonna get tote Z over here and I can usually do it with one hand so I can hold my phone here. And we're gonna look for a little figure, little figure. And we're gonna see if we can find him here. He sold, I wanna say, I think it was $9.75. So, where are you, little guy? You know, I think half the battle of, um, for me, for shipping, is finding the items. Oh my goodness, it just takes forever. If you're with me, say, I hear ya. I hear ya, down in the chat. Is that it? Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Where are you? Where are you? Oh no, am I in the wrong tote? Did I label it wrong? Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna look for this, I'll be back. Okay, wouldn't you know it, it was the next bag I picked up. So, um, here he is. It is a little, um, this guy right here, he's from the Smurfs. And he's, I believe, vintage. That's what he says on him. And again, he sold for $9.75, I think, plus shipping and tax. I think the buyer's all in for like $16 for this little guy right here. So, yes, I will list bread and butter. And I'm happy with bread and butter because you know what? All of those bread and butter transactions add up to big money. Another reason I love selling toys is because I have these pillow boxes and I literally slide that toy right in there. I close that box. It's much easier with two hands. Ah! <laughs> and I put this in a poly mailer and it is ready to go. You guys, so easy, so easy. I love toys. 12 piece hand painted ornament set. Looks like one of them's missing. Huh. I don't know, maybe I'll just sell the Santas individually. Seems like with the box, it's going to be a shipping. A lot of... Ooh, this is kind of cool. Huh. Dollar Tree. Huh. Made in Italy Dollar Tree? What is happening? Made in Italy Dollar Tree. Now that is a first. That's sealed. It's kinda cute. The nose is broke. The nose is broke. Huh. Somebody made that. What do you guys think? It's kind of cute, right? Okay, so this next item is in tote 22 and it came out of a mystery box. And I have been in this tote a few times today. It is a Christmas ornament and they did message me an offer. And they said, they offered me the full asking price, but they asked me if I could ship it tomorrow. So basically they weren't, upset about my price of my item. It was actually on sale. So they were happy to pay my asking price and offered me $13 plus tax and shipping. 
and I went ahead and accepted that and I told them, yes, I could ship it out tomorrow, but they needed to pay me ASAP because I ship out in the morning. So this is what it is, this little angel, and this came out of a thrift store mystery box. It's Mikasa. Mikasa. broke. What's in here? Looks like it might have been a music box that's broken. There comes the bus. All right, let's see what's in here. We have Precious Moments birthday. That's not Christmas, but um, let's see what this is right here. Another Home Co. That's kind of cute. I can bring those. Those aren't really Christmas, but they're still cute. What are these? Oh, these are cute. Again, I don't know if they're really Christmas, but they're cute. And got this big guy down here which is really cute but just too big to ship all right that's gonna do it guys that is gonna do it all right bolo buddies do you want to look in one of these totes right here want to look in that blue one I'm pointing to it somewhere right it's i don't know it's over here it's somewhere i'm i'm gonna open it up and we'll see what's in there i know what's in there kind of like i know it's from the bins but I don't remember what's in there, so let's look. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit into story time here. Okay, look at this bag. There's another huge one down there. And the reason I have them in this bag is because the bags are falling apart, okay? Um, I've moved them around so much. So I don't know if you guys remember, I lost a bunch of footage. I lost like 30 some videos. A lot of them were mystery boxes. Um, films that I had done. I think I had 18 Goodwill Bins videos. And so basically all of my Goodwill Bins stuff are in tote one, two, three, and tote four. These are all stuffed of Goodwill Bins. So my plan is to do like an unbagging. I've done a few of them and then um, show you guys like an unbagging video and show you how I listed everything on eBay. But now that I'm on whatnot, I'm thinking what if I just bring the bag to whatnot and show it? I don't know. I mean, obviously I would pick out some things that maybe would be in bundle. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do, but let's look in this bag. If you guys would be interested in seeing stuff that I get from the Goodwill bins on whatnot for sale, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so I just kind of opened the bag up and look at this. They're kitty cats and they're dimensional. Oh my goodness. Can you believe I found that at the bins? Can you believe it's stuffed in this bag? All right. So I, I'm one of those people when I go to the bins, I think this is Blue's Clues. I want to save everything, like all the toys. Like I want to save them. I've got some magnets here. I am a magnet collector. Magnets, Legos. Um, what's the other thing I grab? Uh, Fisher Price, Loving Family, Paw Patrol. Oh my gosh, I'm a hoarder. I've got um, totes and totes and totes of those things. And I need to list them. Ooh, look at these. Ooh, ooh, name droppers. I might list that real quick on eBay because those are Sandy Lion. And some vintage Sandy Lion is a bolo. That's from 1988. You guys, I don't even remember what's in this bag. I'm not kidding you because I bought this stuff. Uh, it's been a while. Here's another. Uh, is that Dora or Blue's Clues? I'm not sure. Here's more magnets. What's this? E.T. I don't even know what's in here. So I guess, um, let me know if you guys would be interested in me. I bought gloves. Hey, they're new old stock, uh, disposable, reusable gloves. Like I said, I always pick up Paw Patrol. Um, I always pick up these cars that, uh, sing. I've never seen this one. This one's like up on a, it's like a monster car. <laughs> Look at this. It's a little puzzle. I want to know what's down here. Oh, 
Yep, blank media. Ooh, I think these are some more of those cards. How fantastic are these? I mean, really, they are incredible. So the reason I grabbed this one is just because it's um, covered. And I was like, you know what? If nothing else, if somebody I know has a baby, I can use this card for that because it's clean, it's perfect, it's in plastic. So sometimes I pick up stuff for myself. This is a book of nursery rhymes. How cute is that? Excellent condition. The Goodwill Bins is amazing. If you guys have not watched any of my Goodwill Bins videos, definitely check them out. So this one was at the Goodwill Bins and it did not sell. So I'm sorry, this was at the Goodwill, I think. I think that's maybe the Goodwill. And then it didn't sell, so it went to um, the Goodwill Outlet. And that's where most of the items come from is the Goodwill Bins and Overflow. Always pick up these two. What is this? Oh, cool. So yeah, I could have definitely have like a toy auction. I got a whole bunch of these. They're brand new. I was thinking of just doing like a multi-quantity um, thing on eBay. These little spatulas. I got a ton and they're all old, new old stock. But I also got these. What is this? Wow. That's what it's called. Lots of toys, you guys. I'm the toy collector. I just want to know what all is down here. Now I want to just look at everything. Look at all these beads. These are seed beads. Look at them all. Oh boy, some of them looks like the containers opened. Whew, that's a lot. We've got this little thing from Dr. Seuss. So obviously I'm not going to go through this entire thing. Um, but yeah, I love picking up toys from the bins. That's for, I think he's from Winnie the Pooh maybe. Is this How to Train Your Dragon maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to grab some more stuff from another race car. So yeah, just all kinds of stuff. I would say um, a lot of it is toys, but oh, what's this? I forget what this is. Sometimes I pick up art. Um, let's see, let me see if I can get it out of here and show you guys. Here's this one. And it's super old, look at it. I mean, of course I'm gonna pick this up. Picture framing, um, WVA Paint Company, I have no idea. I guess I could try and look it up. Um, but it's definitely, I mean, you can feel the texture in the paint. So um, I've got that one. And then I think, if I had to guess, this is probably a paint by number, which is also just incredible. And that's the back. So very old also. I probably need to check and make sure there's no money hidden in there. Anybody ever found money in the back of a picture? Let me know in the comments. So I'm going to put that back in there safely for another day when <laughs> another day. So yeah, these items, who knows what else is in here. But uh, that's a little bit of what's in this tote. So if you guys think you would like to see these items at a whatnot show, let me know down in the comments. Oh, and these are uh, jewelry jars that I got from the Goodwill. Yeah, still sitting here. Someday, someday I will get to these. Um, I could also do maybe an unboxing, like an unjarring on my whatnot and sell things as I pull them out. I don't know, possibility. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I usually do an unboxing on my channel and then um, show you how I listed everything. But hey, you know, this could be something fun to do on whatnot. You guys let me know. Look how cool they are. 